Hi there, I'm Michael. What I have for you today is Star Wars The Black Series, The Child. Take a look at a picture of him while I read the bio on the back of the box. There isn't one. Take a little picture of him anyway while I just talk about him. So, The Child, also colloquially known as Baby Yoda. You call him whatever you want. Officially, he's the child. That's because he's not Baby Yoda. Everyone knows he's not Baby Yoda. No one really knows who he is, just that he's the same species as Yoda of species that no one knows the name of, so they call him Baby Yoda. It's honestly better than calling him the child. The child is just a really generic name that nobody likes. Anyway, so he appeared in The Mandalorian. He appeared at the very end of the first episode. He's 50 years old, and he's still a baby because Yoda lived to be like 900 years old, so sure, the first 50 years you're a kid. I feel like 50 years he should be maybe a little bit older than that, but I'm not gonna really argue because he is adorable. He stole everybody's hearts. He's absolutely adorable. You watch The Mandalorian, even if you find The Mandalorian boring, Baby Yoda is not. There's nothing about Baby Yoda that is, a, is boring. It's cute. It's ridiculously, grotesquely cute. <laughs> The coups he makes, the faces he makes, just the no care, do whatever attitude he's got going on. If he wants to leave the ship with you, he's gonna leave the ship with you. You can't really stop him. He's gonna do what he wants. And that's literally pretty much all we know about Baby Yoda. He's small, he's cute, and he kinda does what he wants. And sometimes he can be a little bit of a jerk. Stop touching things. But also sometimes he could be nice. That sounds like an abusive relationship. I'm not gonna think about it too hard. So what I have in hand here is the Black Series version of that. Now, I knew he was gonna be small. When they announced him back in December, you know, they gave the height. He's like 1.18 inches or something like that. He's like roughly the size of a quarter in terms of diameter. He is small. But knowing that and seeing that is two different things, two completely different things. So is he too small though? A lot of people are saying he's too small. And I, I think maybe, but, but just a smidge and maybe to the point where it doesn't really matter. If you look at some scenes of him, there's one in particular in episode three when he's getting off the ship with the Mandalorian. He's standing on the ground next to the Mandalorian. And he comes up basically to the bottom of his little ammo containers, whatever those things are on his legs, the little capsules, he comes up to the bottom of those. This one, when you're standing him next to the Mandalorian from the Black Series, he comes up to just, uh, just a hair shy of that. So again, it is maybe a little small, but not, not to the point where I think it super matters. Baby Yoda is small, uh, and that's just kind of how he is. He's not the only small character we've gotten, especially not even a box like this. This is very similar to the box we got the Porgs in. Honestly, I can't say too many bad things about the likeness here, because if I do, I'm pretty sure my wife will divorce me. Baby Yoda is cute, he's adorable, and they have essentially put that here in a six inch scale. If you're the same size as the other figures, it would make sense. So I'm not mad that he's small, I'm happy that he's small. It's just weird that he's small. It's just, when you see it, it's just, it's jarring. So we got the size out of the way, we got the cuteness out of the way. Let's talk about what he comes with. Unlike the Porgs, he comes with accessories, which is weird because, and this is just my opinion, he should have been an accessory. Other small figures like this in the line, such as Babu Frick, BD1, Dio, they are all accessories for other figures. Heck, even BB-8 was an accessory for the figure. This should have been an accessory for the Mandalorian. Now I know they couldn't put him as a pack in with the accessory for the Mandalorian because it would have been a spoiler. They kept this little guy hush hush. I was surprised after seeing him at the end of episode one. Maybe I would have rather him have been a pack in for the new Mandalorian they have coming out. They could have even made that one a deluxe version and come with the baby Yoda and his backpack and stuff. And I would have been actually pretty okay with that. But no, they decided to release him on his own and we have to live with that. But not being an accessory, he does still come with accessories. So let's take a look at that. First, he comes with a container for the accessories. And that's because the accessories are microscopic. They're so small, it's ridiculous. So let's start with the largest and work our way down. First, 
He comes with the frog thing that he's fond of eating. At whatever world he's on, he finds a way to eat a frog. That's one of his things. That's one of his superpowers. The frog he comes with is molded pretty decently for its size. It's got some cool color gradients in there to make it, it's not just one solid color, which is good because a lot of times Hasbro just molds things in the same color and you just kind of deal with it, like guns and blasters and whatnot. So yeah, that's good. It's one thing that Baby Yoda is known for is eating frogs and he has a frog to eat, although he can't. He can't even hold it. But you can put it next to him and you can make him look at it. And that's kind of cool. Next, he comes with a cup, a cup of broth. Because in one episode, he is seen watching the Mandalorian and Cara Dune fight. And he's just kind of standing there drinking his cup of broth. Or maybe it's chalky milk, who knows? But he's got a cup and he's sipping from it and it's adorable. So he comes with a cup too. The problem here is that he can't hold it. You can put it next to him, but he, he cannot put it in his hands. His hands don't come close enough to hold them in both hands. It's just nothing you can do about it. Lastly, we have his shifter knob. Now, one of the cutest scenes in, I believe the second episode, is Baby Yoda getting the shifter knob from the Razor Crest. It's adorable. And then it's kind of cute where he keeps putting them back in. There's a whole thing with the little Razor Crest shifter knob that Baby Yoda likes to like chew on it and it's cute. That's Baby Yoda's thing is he's adorable. So he comes with it, which is great. But the other problem is he can't hold it. I mean, you can put a little blue tack in his hand, I guess, and you can rest it in there. Or if you want to be brave, you can just kind of rest it on there precariously. But the problem is that this little shifter knob is so small. I've had shavings from model build kits that are bigger than this. Like if I drop this on the floor, I would be hard pressed to think that maybe this is garbage left over from me building a model kit. There are other solutions you could have come up with Hasbro than just giving us this. My solution would be to actually be able to remove his arms and they come off anyway. One of them came off the first time I moved his arm. They, they pop out of the ball joint without even thinking about it. So since they're so easily removable, you could have come with alternate arms with these accessories already molded into them. The little ball in one of his arms, it would have been cute. The cup, you could have had two arms where it's already molded and you just put the ball sockets into the shoulders. As each figure where it does this for the characters that have arms crossed like that. You can just take the arms off and you put the new arms on like this and then they're standing with their arms like this and it looks cool. But no, you can't do that with this because they just came with the two little stubby arms he has attached and accessories that he can't hold. This right here is very low effort. This is the kid that basically woke up early the morning before an assignment was due and he wrote out a paper real quick and handed the teacher, yes, you, you turned something in, good job, but what you, what you gave me was awful. And I know that for a fact because I was that kid. That kid was me. They also could have given him an alternate head with maybe the frog molded already in it with like his legs sticking out. That would have been pretty cool as well, but that's not as necessary. Him not being able to hold the frog isn't a big deal as much as the shifter knob and the cup are. That's not my biggest problem. My biggest problem is that one of the other things that Baby Yoda is known for is his pram. Floating around on that pram was a thing that he did 90% of the time. The fact that they didn't give us a pram with like a clear plastic thing to make it look like it's floating. I have to say for accessories, it's not good. The accessories he comes with are too small. They don't fit in his hands and arguably one of the biggest ones he doesn't come with at all. So these are the problems I have with his accessories. I'm kind of glad in a way that he came with them, but it's also kind of worse that he did. Small characters like this aren't known for their articulation, but it's surprising to know that Baby Yoda actually has seven points of articulation. So let's take a look at those. His head is on a ball joint. It can move all the way around. It can move forward this far, back that far. His arms are on ball joints and they can move all the way around uh, and they can pop off super easily. Both of his wrists have ball joints and they can move all the way around and swivel, and his toes are on ball joints and they can move back and forth. With this being Baby Yoda and his Baby Yoda stance because he, he, he doesn't really have that much articulation. It's, I mean, for being a small character, it's really not that bad. His head's on a ball joint, so it's got a wide range of movement. Both of his arms are on ball joints. They do pop off easily. Both of mine have popped off without even really trying. But he also has ball joints at his hands, which actually gives him a lot more range of movement, which is super nice. And then his adorable little toes, they also move, and that's cute as well. Now, again, you can't really do any poses. He's not gonna have to be in any dynamic positions or anything like that, but that's okay, because that's not something that he did ever. He is a baby, he's literally a baby. I know people say, oh, but he's 50 years old. Yes, 
for this species that is a baby. You have to treat it like this is a toddler, basically, in human terms. Because he's 50 years old in our terms, doesn't mean he's not also a toddler. They never talk about if he's potty trained. One of the things I do like about them is they do have a lot of sculpt in here. The biggest problem I have though is that he doesn't have a lot of paint. His eyes are those dark black shark eyes that are for some reason adorable on him. What they really needed to do was put a paint wash, a, a nice dark coat of dirtiness because this coat that he's wearing, the robe that he's wearing, whatever this is that he's wearing is too clean, it's too plain. There's a lot of great sculpting in it. There's wrinkles, he's got his folds, all that stuff is there, but it's too plain. It really needed a little bit more depth and it could have really done with a, a nice paint wash to go over it. But really, did I want this? And the answer is, uh, yeah, duh. Of course I did, everyone wanted this. I didn't even think about not buying this because I want it. This is a must have for pretty much any Star Wars fan. Whether you love the Mandalorian or not, I don't know of anyone that doesn't like this little guy. I can't act like I'm 100% happy with it. There are definite issues I have with this, but I can't say that I didn't want it. I got mine a little bit early from Dorkside Toys. They got theirs a week or so ago and they shipped them out real quick. In fact, I didn't even pre-order mine from Dorkside Toys initially. I pre-ordered mine from Amazon. Once Dorkside had theirs, I couldn't resist. I was like, you know what? Nope, I want this now so I can get it. And so I, I wanted to have the review up by the 4th. So uh, if you're watching this, this, this video is up on May 4th because it's Star Wars Day. Although to me, every day is Star Wars Day. May 4th is a Star Wars holiday for normies. I lived my whole life like this. But is it worth the $10 that it costs? The Porgs that came out weren't $10, they were $6 a pop. This guy's a little bit more and he's roughly the same size as one of them. He does come with accessories, but I think for the 10 bucks, I really don't know if he's worth the 10 bucks. If I were to break down all my scores and things like that, I would give Baby Yoda here a three out of five. He's not perfect, not by a long shot, but he does fill a hole in my shelf and he's, he doesn't break the bank. 10 bucks is like nothing, so whatever, 10 bucks. Man, I remember when Star Wars figures used to cost $5. Those were the days. But yeah, if you like the Mandalorian, if you want an adorable Baby Yoda on your shelf, go ahead and pick him up. Most places are getting him in stock today or this weekend. I'm sure there's plenty out there. He's also gonna be in stores. He comes in a tray just like the Porgs did. So if you see him at Target or Walmart, that's what he's gonna be in. Go ahead and get him. He belongs in your collection. But yeah, just, just know that he, he's got some issues. He's not the best but he is the cutest. And with that, that's my review for Baby Yoda. Let me know down in the downstairs area what you thought. Are you getting him? Did you like him? Let me know. I just like to read and respond to all those comments. They're, they're great, they're fun to do. I'd also like to take a moment to thank these people here for supporting me on Patreon at a Black Series level or higher. Thanks so much everybody for doing that. It means a lot to me. If Patreon's not your thing, there's a place in the downstairs area where you can support my channel in other ways, up to and including liking, sharing, subscribing, hitting the bell for more notifications, all that stuff goes a long way to helping out the channel. And with that, that's all I got. Thanks for watching, thanks for getting this far, and may the force be with you. Bye.